Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Golden Key Design. As you see, last week we completed all the demolition work and tore out all the old carpet, and now we can start laying the new flooring. So let's get into it. At first I was considering using engineered wood flooring, however with this being a basement unit I wanted something waterproof and at a lower price point so I decided to go with luxury vinyl plank. I decided to use the driftwood oak color from Floor & Decor. So now let's start laying it. Even to get to this point took me about 20 minutes but I lined up all these boards basically to hold the underlayment down because it has to go 2 inches up the wall. I didn't think I had to do that but I read the direction and said I did and then if I want the warranty not to be voided, I gotta do it the way it's properly installed, so I just have to do it up against all the walls, but I got that ready to go, so now I can start laying out my boards, but I need the one inch space, or one quarter inch spacers around the edge, but here we go, about to get started. Getting started is honestly the hardest part of the process, but once you get those first couple rows laid, everything kind of starts to get straighter and straighter as more rows are added, and things start to go pretty quickly show you what I have done with the floor. Starts here. So that was one day's work, but only probably four or five hours of actual work. Not the whole day. So I can I think I can maybe even finish this room tomorrow. Still have a lot left to do. But not too shabby. Move that over there tomorrow blinds up need some more blinds but yeah this is uh my little setup <laughs> for the night i need to study at some point though i have audit coming up in one week and i'm not prepared although it's not too difficult material but like i should be a little bit more stressed about this than i am hopefully i pass anyway over and out all right guys I'm, I've probably laid maybe 600, 700 square feet of this floor now. Working my way all the way down the hallway and going into the back bedrooms now so that the kitchen cabinets can be installed over this hallway. But I'm gonna show you how to install one of these planks. So this is in the middle of a, of a row, so this is probably the most common type of joint. We have an underlayment down here, which offers insulation as well as like a mini pad and also kind of levels the floor a little bit if there is any like small undulations. So first thing to do is make sure that the area is clear. You don't want any dust underneath your floor because you're never going to be able to fix that once it's laid. Looks pretty clear to me. If there's small little particles, it's not the biggest deal, but if there's like a little pebble, obviously you're going to feel that when you walk on it. So you can take your flooring out of here. There's usually a little bit of dust on the back, so I like to brush it off into the box just to get off any little particles and then I like to look at it make sure there's not any repetition in the pattern which this looks fine uh, so then you're gonna lay the long end first you don't have to get it perfect but you kind of want to get it tight get it in there and leave a little bit of a gap here then once you got this in place, keep it at a little bit of an angle, maybe 15 degrees. You're gonna push it and slide it over until it bumps into the next board. Giving me a little bit of an issue here. There we go. Now I just heard a little bit of a pop, so I'm gonna take this out actually and check. And what do you know? There's a small, these things are so fragile, but it broke, broke, uh, the locking system just a little bit. I mean, it didn't break the whole thing, it's just a little piece. But I can, I've can i now installed so many, I can tell when that happens. I can just, I heard a little noise. So I just took that out, because if you leave it in there, it's going to not let the joint close fully. So repeat the first couple steps. Get it in there, it feels good. I'm gonna slide it down, butt it up against it. And then as you drop it, you're wanting to push back in this way and try and get it really flush with the next board. You can drop it down. Now it's not in, in yet. You're gonna take your mallet. You're gonna start, don't worry about this edge right now. This is what you need to bang in because you can't push this in by hand. So I like to just do a small little taps to kind of get it in there just a little bit. And then once I see that it's almost flush, I hit it with some big hits to make sure it's fully set into the locking system. 
rub it with my hand, make sure it feels all flush, no edges coming up. And then this gap here already looks pretty good, but just to be safe, you can take one of these blocks. These are specially made because you don't want to break the locking system on this end. If you just were to use the mallet itself, it would just break this all apart. So you just hang this over the edge and tap all the way down. And then just look back at your line, make sure there's not any big seams. This one looks pretty good. And that's how you do one board. Now just about like 500 more to go and then you're done. <laughs> yeah, it's a slow process, but it's worth it. Saves you a good amount of money. See you next time. So as I said, it is a very slow process, but I think it definitely builds some discipline. And as you complete individual rooms, uh, it definitely is a very big motivating factor to keep going. Putting the floor down in the kitchen. What's the problem with this piece? Pretty technical cut from the uh, closet, refrigerator, and wall. We're continuing this piece here. It has to go around this, which is like a T, and then around this, around that, around that, and then there's a little piece underneath the bifold door, too, in there. And so this is the cut we have to make, which is like really difficult. We hope it fits. The piece did end up fitting and we actually made a lot of progress and we were able to finish the laundry room. Things were going really well, but then disaster struck. So I just had a nightmare of a morning. Let me show you what happened. The countertop guy's here measuring the countertops. I looked down and on the left side of the fridge, right here, there's a pool of water. I'll show you the picture. I'm like, oh my god, I just had this fridge installed yesterday. I pull it out. What do you know? The whole water line is dripping. Like at least a drop or two a second. It's a long, it's a lot of water. So I'm trying to mop it up as best I can, but I all the blue here that you see, that was all floor an hour ago. That was all laid and done. But I didn't know how far the water got. I didn't know where it was, so I had to pull up all the boards. Luckily, the damage wasn't that bad. For instance, this is the main one, and this one over here, which is like the hardest board to cut. I'm gonna have to recut the whole thing, but you can see all the water. So it's not that bad, but e even that, I still had to pull those up because that could have caused mold, or at least it would have smelled like mildew in here, which is the last thing I want. So basically, in order to get access to these boards here, I had to start all the way down there, pull this whole row, pull this whole row, pull this whole row, pull this whole row, all the way till the last row. There's about eight to nine rows right here, all the way to here to get to this. And now I have a staircase, you know, going. So I have to recut that really hard board and then reinstall all this stuff where you see blue, which it only took about 30 minutes to tear up, but that's gonna take several hours to put back. This is such a sucky day. So, I mean, these setbacks happen, but I mean, seriously, they literally just installed this yesterday and they already did a bunch of other things wrong. It's like, I can't deal with this. I'm so f***ing stressed. But anyway, I got the fan going. There's actually not that much water, but I'm just going to let it keep drying out just to be on the safe side. And then I got new guys coming now to put a new water line in. So, this is just a freaking nightmare. But hopefully I'll be done with it soon. But this is just not fun at this point. Like, I'm pulling my hair out. So... I mean, I'm gonna be happy when it's done and all, but like, these sorts of things, I feel like, maybe it's just how it, how it works, but I feel like I'm literally getting the worst luck with this renovation. I feel like everything's going wrong. Now, I could have had, I guess, a lot of other things go wrong, but like, I don't know. I wasn't expecting this many things to go wrong. Like, the island isn't even here yet. They had the countertop guy come measure, and he doesn't even have an island to measure off of. That was supposed to be in two weeks ago. So, it's just, you know, it just sucks sometimes. So hopefully today, new water line, and then I'm probably going to start reinstalling this floor today. Maybe I can finish this today, but probably not. I don't want to do so many other things today, too. It just sucks. Anyway, hopefully I'll be in a happier mood the next time you see me. All right, peace out.
right, so we got a lot of flooring done. Gotta just do this closet, but I have all the way back in here for this bed. Just need this space here done, which shouldn't take long. And then I just finished bedroom three. Four looks real nice. And I have a continuing end of the closet. Like, these joints here are very hard to do. I mean, this one's actually not hard because it's just you know, three cuts, but measuring it exactly so it's within a quarter of an inch. So there's enough of a gap for the wood to expand and contract, but not too much so that the baseboard fully covers it. It's kind of challenging. But yeah, the floor looks good. And like, for instance, like this threshold here, you look straight down, you don't see any gaps. And it just looks really nice, very clean, no threshold or anything. Same with that one, and then this will be a closet here. But yeah, there's an update. So that's a wrap on flooring. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, uh, please give the video a like. It really helps us uh, get more viewers and helps with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. We got more videos coming your way every Saturday, uh, so subscribe and stay tuned for more DIY and renovation action. You can also follow us on Instagram and TikTok for even more updates. And leave a comment on how you think the flooring turned out, and if you would have chosen a different color or a different type of wood or engineered wood or not vinyl, let us know. And as always, thanks for watching and happy building.